video that's a little bit different from normal. I'm going to be talking all about sports bras today and it's maybe like a really weird subject. I know it's completely out of the blue and completely random. There have been getting a lot of requests for fitness videos and like workout videos and stuff like that and don't think I'm ignoring those comments because I'm really not. I am going to be doing some fitness kind of videos soon. Before I even start talking about working out and fitness and stuff like that, I really, really want to just talk about sports bras because they're a huge thing and they are completely necessary if you're going to be working out. And personally, I never really thought or gave any thought to sports bras until last year. I was reading some article, I think it was in Cosmopolitan or it was in something, I can't quite remember what magazine it was in. Never really saw the point of them. I'm like, yeah, why not just wear a normal bra instead of spending money and just getting a sports bra? But there is a huge difference between sports bras and normal bras and once you go from working out in like a normal everyday bra to working out in an actual sports bra you do notice a difference and it is a lot comfier because if I work out and if I'm just in a regular bra you know it kind of hurts and it strains and everything just bounces everywhere and it's just uncomfortable and it's not a very supportive bra at that you put a lot of pressure on this area right here and if you put too much pressure on those muscles when you're working out in like if you're doing high intensity running and stuff and you're wearing a really badly fitted bra you can actually damage the muscles and the ligaments around here and that can actually cause premature sagging or drooping in your breasts and that's never a good thing so the more you can prevent that the better yeah I'm going to be going through a few different kind of sports bras that you can get sports bras are not made equally and they all kind of depend on what kind of workouts you do so the first bra I want to show you is it's just a regular sports bra and this one is for low intensity working out and sorry if you think it's weird that I'm showing you like bras on YouTube I know it's just a sports bra so technically it's not like a you know a pretty bra but still I'm sorry if you find it weird but I don't know I would find it helpful if I was looking for these kind of videos it's the only way I can kind of explain different kinds of sports bras is to show them this sports bra is made basically for low intensity workouts so nothing that's really going to put too much strain because it's not overly supportive and it's just this one right here and this one is actually from um trade secret I'm pretty sure and for this one is mark New York so M N Y this is just your basic sports bra and I see so many people work out in these that's what I don't get that's one thing I don't get are sports bras outerwear or underwear like I would find these kind of styled sports bras but they don't actually look like a bra they just kind of look like a crop top I'd find these kind of styled sports bras would be more outerwear but this is just a basic one um the thing about this one is it doesn't have adjustable straps i mean i'm sure you can get ones that do but this one's in a size small i don't think most of these come in cup sizes so you don't get like a b c d e f g anything like that i think it just comes in extra small small medium large and extra large and so i'm between a size 8 to 10 t-shirt sizing so that would be a small Australian size. I got the small because you don't want it to be too tight that you're suffocating, but you want it to be tight. That's one of the main things when getting a sports bra. You want it to fit nicely and be tight. If it's baggy, it's not going to do anything. This one here, it is quite nicely lined. It did have a bit of padding in it, but I found with this kind of thing, like any kind of sports bra I get in this style, I find they come with padding in them, but I end up taking them out. Like I just cut them right here and I just take them out because it folds over when I start working out and so I'll get this really random it makes a really weird shape and it'll just kind of like stab into your side and it's not really comfortable so I always just take the padding out of these ones because it is still nicely lined so you're not going to see if you're cold As you can see it is lined on the inside I don't know if that's picking up on camera it also has a nice elastic underneath your bust and that's a main thing to look out for because you know you want it to be tight on your bust but you want it to be tight underneath just to keep them up so they don't like just get tight and squished down. This one I do find with these kind of bras they do tend to not support much so that's why they're good for low intensity workouts a lot of girls that go out and they work out and they wear two bras like they'll wear a nice regular normal bra and then they wear these over the top um i guess if you wanted a nicer shape because these give a terrible shape they just squish everything they kill any illusion of sexy if you wanted a nicer version of this you go ahead and wear like a regular bra underneath just to give you a better shape because it is going to stop the movement stop them from bouncing 
but I don't know, I'm not an overly big fan of just the these kind of bras. I usually just walk around the house in this if I'm bored and it's hot, I would just wear this around the house. So the next one is good for medium intensity workouts. So this one is a bit prettier, it's purple. This one's also from Trade Secret. It was about $25 this one and I can't find the brand. I cut the tags off because they irritate me. The brand is Champion. So I guess that's the brand. This one here is good for medium and as you can see it's a lot different from the other one. It does cross over at the back as well. This one thank goodness does have adjustable straps. It's still nice and thick. It's still got that kind of crop toppy kind of look to it. This one is a lot stretchier. Like this one is a lot tighter so it really especially if you are a larger busted lady. Um, these kind of ones would be a lot better than the other one I showed you just because they are really tight and they will really support underneath you and stop any bouncing or not all bouncing but majority of the bouncing. So although this one doesn't have any padding in it, it is nicely lined. It does actually... I'm trying to show you the inside because it's got these little lines but I like squish them together so everything is really firmly in place. It does have, once again, a really nice elastic underneath it to support them. The thing I don't like about this particular one is it gets really hot in because it's not only lined all around the front, it's also lined at the sides and all along the back. It does have like little breathable patches where it's a bit lighter but majority of it is still quite heavily lined works really well like I said because it really holds everything right in place and it's a different kind of style to the other one. See already this one although it's stretchy it's not very stretchy. This one like it's quite stretchy and it goes right back to shape so it's really really gonna hold you in there. If you like to work out and you still like to have a womanly shape this one's just gonna squish you and give you no shape whatsoever but I think majority of sports bras are gonna do that. I really like that bra, I would prefer to wear that bra over the first one. When you think of a high intensity sport this is my favourite bra. It's really supportive and it's probably the most comfortable sports bra you can ever get. I'm sure there's different kind of styles of it, different kind of brands. This particular one is from Bras and Things and I feel kind of cheeky showing it to the internet because it, this one actually does look like a bra. The other two just look like crop tops but it's this one right here and as you can see it's a completely different style altogether than those ones yeah I wanted to talk about this one mainly because it is so supportive and it gives the best support and comfort when you're working out basically I got this one a year ago from bras and things this however this particular one here was $50 from bras and things and but it was worth it it was worth every penny I'm sure you can get a cheaper alternative. I love it. I've used it so many times. The first thing different about this one is that it does go by your cup size so it's not just like the other ones where it's like you know size small or size medium or something like that. This one does go by your cup size and I would recommend definitely getting um, measured and fitted for one of these bras because it's like any kind of other bra you want to make sure the you know it fits just right. It does have cups in it which I like because the other ones they squish you in and give you no shape. This one, although it does support you, it does give you a nice shape as well. It's not like a padded, you know, super padded push-up bra where it's going to give you this beautiful cleavage. No, it's just really quite lightly padded. So basically, it gives you nice shape and it makes sure people can't see if you get cold. The thing about this one is the straps. They have padding on the straps. So right here, where they go up, it's nicely padded because when you're working out, that's the worst thing when your straps are digging in after a while or they keep sliding off or they just they become irritable or uncomfortable this one has a beautiful, nice padded, thick strap and so this is really going to support you along the front as well. It also has adjustable straps which is a must have, I guess, when doing high intensity because you really want to make sure it fits perfectly. And crisscross at the back you can adjust them so they're just like regular bra where it just goes over your shoulder but I find it more supportive if they are crossed over at the back and it just keeps it more comfortable as well and it looks a little bit sportier you want to look for things that are breathable so underneath the wire around the cup here you can see it's kind of got a lighter material built in which is perfect for if you're really working out you don't want to get like big you know sweat marks under your 
boobs. That's not good, not good at all. So the breathable material, it goes like around here, but it also goes down the back strap as well. So as you can see, it's kind of got the lighter material along the front. So it is really nice. Like you don't, even if you're building up your sweats, you're not going to be like sitting in your sweats. Like it's not just going to sit there. It's going to keep going and it's going to be breathable. And it's also very stretchy. The sides are very very stretchy but even when you stretch them they go right back they're not going to stay like loose so it's also got the breathable material right in the middle here as well and it's also got this nice band of elastic that goes all around the bottom at the back of this one it also clips up like a regular bra you can just you know clip it on whatever setting you like that's basically all you need to know that's basically your essential sports bra 101 this one is my favorite this one is my recommendation if you can get a sports bra like like this and you know it fits perfectly and it's breathable and it's comfortable then I definitely recommend even if you don't do high intensity even if you're more like medium to low intensity I'd still recommend getting a bra like this because you are going to be feeling more supportive um, again though you can always opt for those kind of bras but just make sure they are nice and tight and they're really going to hold them in so they're not like bouncing and going to give you a black eye. Um, I'm sure there's a lot prettier ones out there. Mine seem really ugly and dull. I've seen the really really pretty Victoria's Secret ones though and if you have tried them please let me know what you think about them because I'm thinking about purchasing one or two. They look like they have a bunch more patterns and they're a lot prettier. I hope this was helpful. If you have any tips or tricks that you like to use when you're working out or trying to, you know, find undergarments for your working out, and I hope it didn't creep you out that I was showing you bras and stuff, then let me know as well. And hopefully this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!